should use this accident, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster, to improve the technology to make much safer nuclear plants for future of Japan. Thank you for listening. strong opinion, right? <laughs> and that you could forcefully say it's nonsense, like that so forcefully, and you were so clear and organized and calm and yet passionate. This is a great mix of attributes. It's a great mix of behavior to show everyone your true feelings, and you could change minds this way. Very persuasive. Very persuasive. And my uncle also believes the same way. He's a nuclear engineer, too. Um, I think victim scares us. I think the word victim usually means, I was just trying to look it up, usually means there's someone that caused this to the person, an attacker almost, on purpose. Sometimes, I think, a victim of a car crash. The car crash and there's a victim. A casualty, a casualty is in war, a bomb happens or something and there's someone who dies as a result of this bigger plan disaster. So the word casualty may be better, although victim makes everyone stand up and listen. No, no. I don't know if you were intentional, but there's a little bit of a difference. I really liked your presentation quite a bit. And I l like how you said, some people will say a guy is a heartless person, um, a person, a heartless person. And so you, you took what we were maybe thinking and then you explain it. It's a very smart way to do that. see how deeply you felt about this. You didn't have any notes, and you, your body language was very good. You used hand gesture, gestures appropriately because you this was coming from your heart and not from a notepad somewhere. Uh, the analogy between uh, airplane travel and the use of nuclear energy was a good one. And to make your argument more persuasive, um, I, I, there would be other analogies that you could come up with that would make the point. Do we avoid blah, 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 just because blah, blah, blah? No, we need that thing, and so we find a way to make it as safe as possible. You could come up with other examples which would give your persuasive presentation even more punch. And I know you don't want to talk about personal things, and you only told about your grandmother because someone asked. But if you're going to make this as a presentation to a group of people, 
you could say, you might think that I don't care that it, it wasn't personal to me, but it was. I lost a family member because of this, but it doesn't change my opinion about the necessity of nuclear energy. You can mention that without putting attention on yourself or being immodest if you present it in the right way. So to be persuasive, you want to take away other people's arguments as much as possible. And you can do that by adding to the analogies, by taking other arguments that the anti-nuclear people have and addressing those one at a time. I, I wanted more. Um, it seemed like just in, as in um, Koki's case, a good beginning of a great idea, and there are many more things you could do with it. I want to explain many things, but I have only five minutes. That's true. That's true. true. That's right. Yes. Yeah, that's right. And I want to say, victim is necessary. So, yes. yes. <laughs> no, that's very good. No, but uh, really, uh, and your language is very clear also. Very easy to understand you. You spoke at a nice volume and everything. I think you have challenged a very difficult issue. Mm -hmm. and there are lots of arguments. But here, this is not the uh, place to argue about pros and cons of uh, nuclear power. The presentation, you did it very, uh, very great, uh, very cool, nicely uh, spoken. Uh, the victim is a too strong word. I, I was thinking about that, too. And the bad and good are too strong word. You have to find some other way of saying it. Usually, uh, say like uh, uh, some uh, some long time ago, some when they, some uh, drug was found, the doctor tried to shush, make a shot in his body to find out if it is really useful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a start of that. Pop, 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 <coughs> pops, uh, small pops, small pops, I guess. Yeah, long time ago. Uh, he can be a victim to yeah. develop the science. Oh, yes. I really like that idea because that is he, not everybody else. He victimizes himself to progress science. To try the inoculation on himself. Yeah, yeah. Um, try to uh, check so, with himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, one thing, I just want to say one thing to you. If you say this strong statement, you have to say that I am agreeable to put nuclear power plant next to my house. <laughs> because you are talking about something else already. You are not in there. Right? Mm -hmm. You are not in the story. You are sitting far away. And science has to progress. You have People has to be victimized, but you are totally outside, uh, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you say, I, I I don't care if the waste nuclear waste waste can be piled up in my backyard, mm -hmm. I don't care. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. They can bring it to my town. I agree because it's important to progress mm -hmm. the science. When you go, you can get to that level. Mm -hmm. Your story is very, very persuasive. Yes. I just wanted to mention, but that not <laughs> main thing. Very interesting. <laughs> very very interesting just point. For, yeah. for presentation skill, and presentation okay. skill is, is Super. very good. Mm -hmm. The topic you chose was very, very difficult topic, mm -hmm. and uh, usually we try to avoid such a topic mm -hmm. because it's too too controversial. Yeah, did a good job. <laughs> That's what I want to say. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, five minutes break. Uh, <laughs>